All right. So, DP DP Photography here, bringing another video. And today, I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of a ride with my neighbor. Um, my neighbor, you know, stressing a little bit, you know, which we tend to do from time to time. And he wanted to go blow up some steam and try out the one wheel, man. So, uh, you know, I got the Pine X, I got my GT, and we got out there and got after it, you know. Now, he's somebody that has never written a one wheel before. But, you know, him being my neighbor, he has taken an interest in the float life. You know, you see somebody like me every day, everywhere I go, getting on one of these one wheels. And, you know, for the most part, that's my piece of transportation, especially on this island. Um, so he's taking an interest and he accidentally, you know, looked up uh, how much they cost. And of course, you know, once he did that, he's been hit with an abundance of commercials and advertising as to make him make his first purchase um, as One Will and Future Motion is so good at, man. I mean, I can remember when I hit that button and I started getting those uh, emails and commercials and every other advertisement pretty much was a One Will commercial, you know, made me go out there and buy that thing. But, we got out there and we got to floating, man. Got to talking, just enjoying some of the float life. And I aimed to have him actually fall in love with it as well. Um, if I was a better person, I probably would have made him put on more gear. Even though, you know, he didn't take any kind of tumble or anything. But, uh, you know, for being a first time rider for anyone, I suggest, you know, just gearing up all the way because at some point, you will take a tumble and there's no way that you're gonna know what to do in that instance. You could, you know, break a kneecap, break a shoulder, uh, break a, a, a number of different things on your body. Um, so it's better to just have on the most gear that you can have on. Um, now, myself, you know, lately I haven't been riding as much as I usually do on the one wheel. For the simple fact, I have gotten a flat tire um, I ride on the XR size Enduro, which has been a beautiful tire for me. Uh, Enduro is pretty much what I've had on anything that I've ever ridden. There's actually an Enduro on the Pine X that he's riding right now. Uh, when I had a regular hub, I had an Enduro on that, and now I have the One World Parts XR hub on the GT. And, you know, I was doing a bit of carving and I guess I did a little too hard of a carve and I could just hear like the fizzling of that, uh, you know, tire foam coming up out of the tire. So um, I was going to purchase another Enduro um, and then I went to, you know, digging in to see what tires people actually suggested. Everyone was suggesting the GOAT. So I had to go and pre-order the GOAT. Now that I think about it, I wish I just would have went with a slick, but that's all right, you know, I'm, I'm you know, everybody suggests the GOAT and I want to see what exactly it is about this tire that everyone likes. I will be the judge once I get it. Like many people uh, suggest certain things and I don't always tend to agree with them. Um, I was told that the Enduro wasn't such a great tire for that XR hub, but when I rode it, I actually, I absolutely loved it. Um, had a great time on that thing. Now, you can see me and my neighbor, we are on my little back road, government road, as I like to take people. Also took my son here on Memorial Day. Uh, just because, you know, it's less traffic back here, a lot more open road, able to ride and just really have fun, you know? And I didn't think, you know, that my neighbor would like that Pine X as much, you know? He, he complained about it a little bit in the beginning, but the Pine X isn't bad. It ain't super bad. It is limited in some ways, but it's definitely still 
a good one will. Um, I can feel the nimbleness. I can feel uh, the more ease of turning around. Like I'm able to like uh, spin on it. I can do a lot more. With the big XR Enduro on my GT, it's like it grips the ground so much that there's no way I can do anything. Like I can't, I can't do a 180 revert. Like I, you know, maybe I could if I was real skilled in that, but me not having really a lot of skills when it comes to tricks, I can't 180 revert. It's like it thing grips the ground. And you know, we're just enjoying the float, you know, just blowing off some steam. Um, this is definitely one of the better ways uh, when you have things going on to get out of your head, you know? And I told him anytime that he wants, he can come over and grab this thing. Just want to be a little bit more safe when it comes to riding, man, because yeah, you hit that pushback and you push through it, man. You're coming off this board and push back on the Pine X hits around at about 16, which is not that great. Um, I gotta say, you know, later on in this ride, we actually switched boards where I let him ride the GT and I jumped on the Pine X, man, just so he could have a feel for it. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know, man. Now, if I was smarter, I definitely wouldn't have, uh, you know, right here we're going fast, going fast. We're hitting that 16, 17 mark. Um, fun stuff, you know, he's really enjoyed. He's a little bit squiggly, a little bit. I can see his feet rocking just a little bit. But for a first time rider, man, like he's absolutely doing fantastic, man. Like, I would have thought that this would have pushed him over the edge to have him go and buy one. Especially right now when you got all these deals at Future Motion, I think you can get a Pine X right now for like, I don't know, 1100 or 1400 I don't know what it is. I ain't even gonna sit here and act like I can, but it, it, everything is on sale right now. And yeah, me, myself, um, I'm looking forward to getting this goat tire. I'm just waiting on it to come in the mail. Um, I don't know when it's gonna ship out. Um, but I gotta have patience, right? Gotta have patience. And now that I think about it, man, I really miss my one wheel, man. The more I think about it, the more I know that I could never get rid of that thing, you know, especially the GT, man, because that GT with all this upgrades, man, it feels so good. I can't stress that enough. It's like, I, you know, when I step on the Pine X and my feet hang over the sides, and then I step on the GT and it just like cradles my feet. It, it like, my foot goes in it. Like it catches my feet. It, it just feels so perfect, man. It's like, they say like, yo, it'll feel like an extension of your legs. And that's exactly how it feels on my GT. Yeah, we just, we back here on the back of Government Road, about as far as you can go. Um, neighbors not feeling any foot fatigue, which is incredible. Like, uh, at the same time, you know, he is uh, part of the military. So yeah, his muscles might be a little bit conditioned better than most, but I can remember my first days of me trying to ride and me getting that foot fatigue. I remember I had posted it on, uh, on Facebook in that group and, you know, I just got roasted, man. <laughs> At the time, I was pissed off. But the dude told me, um, what do you say? Uh, just put your, take your purse off and put it on the, on, the, on the foot pad and stand on it, man. I was so pissed off, man. But, you know, now, you know, where I am at, I can really appreciate his comment, man. It was funny. You know, it's like people are gonna come at you like that sometimes and you just can't take them too seriously, man. It was a joke and, you know, like I say, like now I can appreciate it, I can laugh about it, man. I'm not mad at Buddy or anything like that, man. It, it, it was good, it was good. But yeah, my neighbor's doing perfectly fine. He's floating around, 
no problem. He's loving the Pinax. Um, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, as far as it goes uh, for the EUC journey, man, I, I'm pretty good when it comes to riding the, you know, the V8 S, whatever it's called. You know, I'm I'm pretty good when it's riding that smaller in motion. Um, I'm at the point where I think that I'll be able to ride the Lynx, but I just haven't been getting out and trying it at all, really. Um, you know, it's, when they told me I should just go ahead and forget, you know, riding the Lynx for a while until I actually get really good on uh, in motion, you know, that's pretty much what happened. Not on purpose, you know, it just becomes second nature to jump on that thing, especially now that I don't have my one wheel and, you know, the, the in motion goes a little bit faster than the Pint X. I tend to jump on that thing first. I'm um, a lot better when it comes to turning. Um, I definitely can get up to speed real fast, uh, as fast as it goes at least. But I really need to get back on the Lynx, man. And I might just go ahead and get rid of that V8, man. Just for the simple fact, like I knew what it was gonna do. I knew that the V8 was gonna kind of cripple me in one sense because it's not what I actually need to learn on. I need to be learning on what I'm actually going to be riding, man, and that's the Lynx. Like now, I don't even get on that thing, man. Like Lynx just sits in the kitchen as a good old uh, photo prop, you know? kitchen ornament um but i got it it's like somebody said you know why the sad face you actually have the links and you know some people just wish that they could have it yeah i'm definitely uh, grateful that i do have it in the living room can't wait till i'm able to ride it you know i'm a person that's always doing different things always trying new things uh lately they've been pushing those power, power, power motors in my my uh, feed, like the things you put the backpack on and you're actually able to go up and fly with them. And man, I think one day I, I, I'll end up doing that. One day I think I'll end up doing that. But for now, you know, just got a drone, just dropped a video on that. Just, uh, I recently just ordered a paddle board. So I'll probably be doing some videos on the paddle board. Uh, definitely something that's cool down here in the Keys. Um, but yeah, life is good, man. Yeah, and the Pine X definitely does a good job, man. Yeah, he, he's definitely enjoying it. He's riding, I'm watching him. And like I say, I did do a video with my son on this as well. It was a lot harder when I did the video with my son, man. Memorial Day, I was just burning up out here. I was dying. <laughs> I was dying, man. Um, right now, man, I've been a little bit sick. Got a sore throat. Having a, I don't have a fever, but I've been getting the goosebumps, you know, and feeling a little bit cold which is kind of like a fever symptom and, you know, I don't know what's going on. Nowadays, these sicknesses are different, man. Ever since 2020, when you get sick, it's like things are just different and not, not like they once were, but uh, I wanted to get on here and make a video, you know, as I usually do. Um, looking forward to getting that paddle board. Um, what else can I talk about, man? What else can I talk about? Oh, tires, man. Tires. What kind of tires are you guys using out there on your one wheels, man? Uh, like I said, everyone suggested Flight Fins Goat Tire. Um, I was going to get a Cloud or a Whisper, one of those nice, quiet slicks. But, you know, being that I just pop the damn enduro man i wanted to get something that had a little bit more chunkiness to it something that is more for 
off-road as well as street um, because I do tend to sometimes ride in the gravel. Um, yeah, I definitely tend to ride in the gravel sometimes. do tend to ride in the gravel sometimes. Um, and you know, like always, if there's anything that you guys want to see out there, just let me know. Drop that down in the comments. Uh, I recently dropped a video uh, with my new drone, Mavic 3 Pro. Uh, and that video didn't really get much traction, which tells me that you guys are not really much in the drones. There's a few of you that do like drones, but for the most part, my channel is not getting a lot of traction when it comes to drones. So EUCs and one wheels and, you know, electric scooters is where it's at for now. Um, if you guys tell me that you want to see something different, then I will go ahead and drop that for sure. But for the time being, you know, I do have a couple of videos that I can drop riding the one wheel. Um, definitely living a bit dangerously on this one wheel, man. Yeah, we're going out here in the middle of the street, taking my neighbor all around. No pads, no none of that, man. It is what it is, man. So what else can we talk about, man? As I try to fill this video up. Let's talk about, I hate to talk about controversial stuff, but let's talk about the float life, man. What do you think about the float life since Bodie Harrison left? Do you feel like the float life is missing something? Because I do. Um, it's horrible, man. Ever since Bodie left, I feel like the float life is definitely missing a key person. Um, I took much more of an interest with Jeff and Bodie rocking together, man. And I feel like in the same instance, Bodie has lost a part of him as well, man. And really, it just, it just, it sucks, man. It was like a Batman and Robin duo, and now one or the other is gone, man. And they both kind of lost, you know? And Future Motion knew what they were doing when they took the shot, you know? Let's just grab one of uh, uh, the Float Life's best players, you know. They could have picked up Jeff, you know. They could have picked up uh, a lot of different guys from off of the Float Life, but they went and grabbed Bodie, who has a hell of a character. And yeah, oh, my sister's calling. Hello? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, yeah? Damn, nigga, they're young. Man. It's nice to get out and ride around Key West on the one wheel. It's a, it's a nice town to ride in, you know. Speed limit here is 35, you know, at the highest. Uh, a lot of small streets. The town is pretty much uh, a bike town. You know, bikes, not to say like there's not a lot of cars on the road and stuff, but bikes have rights, if you will. A lot of times I'm driving my car and it'll be four or five bicycles uh, riding in front of me. And there's nothing I really can say about it. Um, they just, they are gonna do what they wanna do. But um, there's a lot of designated bike lanes. Um, 
There's a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of one whalers down here, I will say that. Uh, and I did see one guy the other day on the EUC. I got so happy, man, but I didn't have a chance to talk to him. Um, yeah, this is definitely a nice bike friendly, PEV, one wheel friendly town, man. It's a great place to get out and enjoy without worrying about getting hit by a car or, you know, your safety. And like I've said many times before, uh, I know pretty much everybody in this town, man. Not saying, you know, people are moving in and moving out all the time, but you ain't gonna cross the street with me without somebody yelling out my name. You know, and it's pretty cool to have those connections. Um, yeah, a lot of time I'll tell you guys, I'm gonna come up with that little biography, you know, giving y'all a little bit of my background. Um, because I feel like, you know, I'm definitely different. I'm a diff different kind of one wheel, a different kind of photographer. Um, I'm, I'm from the streets, you know, like, and that's not to glorify the streets, you know, because to this, nowadays, you know, I'm not in the streets. I'm a family man. I like raising my kids. I like, you know, enjoying beauty like I do on these one wheels. But, you know, when I was younger, my dreams and aspirations were to be big in the streets. And, you know, I eventually accomplished that, you know. And that also landed me a few years in prison. Um, but, now, you know, I'm known around town as a one wheeler, as a photographer. Uh, cool, you know, it's cool. It's, it's pretty awesome, you know, that I was able to turn my life around and I'm blessed in the way that I am, you know. I'm cool with the chief, I'm cool with the captain, I'm cool with uh, the, all the politicians. Um, cool with the mayor, you know, I've done interviews of everybody. Uh, and right now, you know, if I wanted to, I could crank up my podcast and get all the politicians on board again. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that just yet, uh, but I've come a long way, you know, from being that little bad ass hoodlum that stood on the corner all day with no shirt on high out of my brain all the time. Um, now I don't even smoke, you know? I don't smoke anymore. Like, and the things that I used to do is like, <laughs> you know, I used to take 20 X pills in, in a few days and almost die and people actually would be scared for me to die, you know? Um, and now, you know, I can't say that I'm the health buff, but uh, I definitely am not the junkie that I was, man. Um, and coming from a background like that, I feel like, you know, it definitely makes me a lot different. Um, I don't know how many people who ride a one wheel have been to prison, you know, worked on the farm squad. Um, been big in the streets, you know? When I say big, I mean, you know, I was very, very well known. Uh, you know, I drove a F-250 in the same year that it came out. Um, always had a brand new car, uh, you know. Major, major level, you know what I mean? And, you know, I actually had the police tell me that they weren't trying to give me 10 years, that they were trying to give me life. And, um, you know, that was a wake up call for me. That was in the beginning when I knew that I had to change some things, man. So now, you know, me working, 
owning a house here in Key West, paying my bills um, from photography. Also got a wife that has a great job. Um, she definitely pulls her, her end of the weight, that's for sure. And she's beautiful, you know, I'm lucky enough to have her. Um, life is good, man. Life is good. And it just goes to show, no matter where you are in life, you know, you can always redeem yourself as long as you have life. You know, I got some friends out there that actually took their own life, man. And I wish I had a chance to talk to them before it happened, but that just isn't the way that things go, man. But that being said, man, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. You know, I know I rambled a lot through this video, but um, I just like to do a little bit of commentary while I ride. And this wasn't the smartest idea to get my neighbor on this dangerous ass highway, but we made it home. And if you guys got any suggestions, as always, you know, drop them down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. As always, DP Photography, also known as The Real Bird, I'm out.